So we're back with the AMT 9000 from Mass and first of all I'd like to say thank you to Alex and thank you to Marcus for enlightening my darkness. Seems uh, the bump on the head really did affect me that's for sure. Um, so quickly how do you do it? Look somewhere in this menu in the model information and you'll get what you need. Function setup so you have the name, choose the powers you want as we showed before in another video. Key setting. So if you want to change it, function in uh, P1, blah, 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 whatever you need. And with the new settings showing at the top that it's uh, working 400 to 480. We've only programmed some odds and ends in, as you see, just to uh, get it running. And here is said radio running. Although it's still pretty quiet. Local uh, repeater. One. That's an echo link uh, facility. Comes in. We're running it on the quarter wave as I said before. You can have a little look quarter wave on the uh, power supply of this QDH because we're not home that's with the squelch on one and it's receiving, uh, receiving pretty well what can you say SO239 plug on the back as mentioned before but we'll be back with another video for this it was just uh, to show you really that uh, the radio does work uh, on 446 megahertz it just needed uh, two people with bigger brains than I have at the moment to figure it out Connection in the front for programming, still plugged in, and uh, it's running into the notebook. So that's how we programmed it. Driver just came with the software, no worries there at all. And uh, nice big rotary for changing everything. I think it's this button here, yeah, there you go. 400, 480. That's how we set it up, 400, 480, that gets it into memory mode. So there you go, just a small video to show you that it does actually kick it as a PMR radio if you so wish to do it. Catch you later.